rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And times are tough, ladies and gentlemen. Times are tough. The four horsemen of the apocalypse, if they are not riding right now, they are saddling up their horses. We got, uh, uh, you know, uh, what were the four horsemen? Uh, uh, famine, well, that's coming, I think, this after summer, isn't it? It's supposed to come. Uh, famine, we have uh, disease. Well, you know, we, we, we had corona. That was a big one. Uh, uh, we have pestilence. We have all these heads of cattle, like 10,000 heads of cattle dying uh, uh, in America now. Uh, again, seems to be the end of days. Uh, uh, so, and we got war. Well, yeah, we got that one going on. So, yeah, the four horsemen are, are uh, if not riding, running amok, running amok. And I think it's affected people. I think it's affected people deeply, and I think it, people are introspective. Why do I think that, right? Why do I think that? Because I'm about to read an article which I didn't think would be possible if, that it would ever be written. It's uh, from Screen Rant, so... Uh, uh, first thing you gotta know is probably garbage. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's normally uh, uh, you know the number one thing. So it's written by Thomas Bacon, who is their uh, main uh, Doctor Who correspondent. They do he does mostly articles, and he's been very, very, very pro the Jodie Whittaker era. I'm not sure if he's been like pro calling anybody who doesn't like it a bigot. Probably because most people are right. That was the media narrative, and certainly part of the media. Uh, uh, now they say, oh, that time is children, that child thing. That was awful. That's never going to work, and it's going to be forgotten forever. Uh, uh, what has brought this deep, deep abiding introspection? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to read together, and we're going to find out. We're going to, uh, uh, you know, put up an idea or two to what is going on underneath the bonnet of uh, of young Mr. Bacon. That bacon, fantastic breakfast meat. You know, uh, uh, not that good on Doctor Who fandom. <laughs> okay, so that's basically where I am. Uh, uh, like, share, subscribe, and please do that. Oh, my God, I woke up this morning, and uh, uh, the YouTube algorithm had taken on the um, the visage of Edward Scissorhands, snipping away <laughs> subscribers left, right, there. I had a bunch removed, like a bunch, right? Uh, so if you subscribe, please make sure you're still subscribed. If you're not subscribed, if you can consider doing that, that gee, don't just consider, just do it, baby. Just just click the subscribe button. You know, I, I'm not going to guarantee you, you will survive the coming, uh, the coming apocalypse, but there's a very good chance you will. I mean, like, if you click that button, very, very good chance you will. I will absolutely put a good word in with you, with the good Lord, if it turns out that my lot are right. If, if we're just going to be on a uh, desiccated cinder, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? So hit the, hit the uh, uh, um, subscribe button, that'll be right. And the, and the like button and the share button, all those things are good. All those things are good. And you want to be good. I want to be good. We all want to be good. So let's all be good. Uh, sign up my sub stack. Sign up to my paid sub stack, uh, uh, which I've actually sent some content out. Didn't send it last week, but I'm going to send out two issues of Biblical this week. What's Biblical? Biblical is my uh, graphic novel. Look at the width, 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 of, width of that, right? Bible stories, so atheist, creationists, rationalists, and rogues, all that came in my mind. We're living a Bible story, right? You look out the window, well, that's weird. Uh, 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 that seems to be going down. Anyway, that's just my wibbly wobbly view, view on life. Uh, so, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, Substack. Substack is my email newsletter where uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just waiting to be banned, essentially. Uh, when I'm banned again next time, uh, 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 you'll be able to follow me if you sign up to my Substack, which is free, which is free, unless you do the paper. <laughs> Which, you know, I would say is probably the best one. Anyway, anyway, with that, let's get into this article. <laughs> Doctor Who's Time to Show Retcon is officially pointless. What clued you in, mate? What clued you in? Was it when everybody in unison vomited on the screen? When they saw it, they ah! Now, I was already out of Doctor Who by this time. Orphan 55 was a step that I couldn't go any further, right? Orphan 55 was awful, and that's the one that broke me. Uh, so by this one, I was like, this isn't Doctor Who. I don't really give a crap. Uh, Capaldi is still regenerating. I re-edited my twice in one time, faded to white. It's over, right? And coming into this season, and go, go look back at my channel, right? There was a... Uh, the video I put out saying that I am ready for Doctor Who to break my heart again, right? I, I want, I'm want. i ready to give it a chance. Well, that didn't work out well, did it, Chibnall? Uh, uh, um, you're not very good at your job. I think I think that's really the uh, uh, fairest thing that we could say. Uh, um, but yeah, but basically it really came around by the time the Tyler's children happened and, and everybody hated it. Well, I mean, honestly, they had the skin color of the kid written into the script. It's gross, right? That's called waifism and it's gross, right? Um, but let's see why he thinks it's pointless. 
Doctor Who's Timeless Child Retcon is officially pointless. We know. Finally, unity in fandom. We know. We are aware. Uh, Chris Chibnall's tenure as Doctor Who showrunner was remarkably controversial. I, I prefer the word. It's a slightly different word from controversial. But I think this is the right word for it. It was remarkably shit. Right? Was remarkably and undyingly, relentlessly shit. Right? That that was his... Uh, um, that was his era. But again, let's use the word controversial. Why not? Why not? Uh, uh, the controversy is some people don't like shit, and some people do. I, I, the ones who do lived on Twitter, and they were very loud, and they called anybody who didn't like shit a bigot, because obviously the only reason you wouldn't like shit is because you're a bigot. That could be the only reason, right? I mean, listen, they're, they're sitting there going, we're ready to you know, have all this shit shoveled into our mouth. We're completely fine with it. We're there. <coughs> um... Why not you? We're not big, it so must be you. Okay, that's, that's basically what happened, isn't it? It's weird, but yes, that's what happened. <coughs> At the heart of his controversy was the unexpected to rewrite um, the franchise's law by revealing the Doctor is not a Time Lord at all, but in fact, the Timeless Child. A bit, well, they didn't even reveal that, they intimated it. Um, oh, they're showing clips of uh, Umbrella Academy at the bottom. I'm so not interested in season three. Right, I, I look, Elliot Page. I hope you're happy and live a good life. Not really interested. I mean, like, you basically pushed me out on season two, but okay. Uh, uh, where are I? Uh, a bill originated from uh, Beyond the Universe, who became the base genetic code for the entire Time Lord race. Woo! Um, back in the eight, uh, back, came up uh, with it. Chimel came up originally back in the 80s. Did you really? I mean, really, back in the 80s. Uh, 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 um, that's when you were slagging off Pittman Jane Baker, right? And John Nathan Turner. How did you have an idea so unbelievably shit, right? And, and, and have the words come out of your mouth. Don't you think that's a bit boring? Don't be, don't be, all right, honestly, how could you criticize anyone and have had this idea then, right? Oh, that's not too fit. I'm going yeah, to make it not fit. I'm going to make it not Doctor Who. I'll be stunning. I'll be brave. I'll be the bestest ever. Anybody who doesn't like it is a bigot. It's a bigot. It can make a bigot. Um, uh, but, 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 now they're showing clips of the boys. I like the boys. Uh, where are they? Uh, time to time. Really on it. Chip, uh, in the 80s, when he was just a fan watching the classic series, it was usually in, uh, loosely inspired by hints from the Koi era that he was more than just a Time Lord seeding the narrative uh, by script editor Andrew Cartmel. Yeah, listen, that was all resolved in Long Barrow. I'm always surprised that Big Finish hasn't done an adaptation of that, right? I'm always somewhat just surprised about that. I love Long Barrow. Wow. There's one of the best of the new adventures. They finished on a high. You had Long Barrow, and I think, did it, oh, it went to, did they do So Vile a Sin after that? I remember it was out of order. I was just moving to America at the time. I remember picking up, I was in Boston, right, uh, uh, around that era. Uh, and uh, um, then they had the Dying Days, which was by Lance Park, a very good Eighth Doctor story uh, with, like, new uh, uh, updated Ice Warriors. Better than the one they, they, they had eventually had on TV. Uh, go, go and check it out. Two, two rather good books. Uh, where are we? The time they started to divide the fan base. Guess not, mate. No, it's unified the fan base. Then we, we, the, the, the unity is... God, that was shit. <laughs> Some have been willing to see how things pan out. They got one episode left. How's it panned out, right? Especially the upcoming Doctor Who Centenary special, where uh, the Doctor is expected to draw the threads. Uh, uh, Jim is expected to draw the threads of his stories together uh, at one lo uh, at last before bowing out. I mean, look, I mean, uh, Buffett did the same thing with the um, um, Matt Smith finale. But he, he was talented and had the ability to do it. Uh, uh, Chibnall should be washing cars, right? I don't think the only thing about beyond that uh, might be above his pay grade, right? Uh, others that reject the idea outright, uh, 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 arguing it essentially turns Doctor Who saying she she never was. Well, yeah, saying she is is <laughs> it's also telling Doctor Who saying she never was, right? A god that can never truly be killed, and no, it makes it boring. Right? It makes it boring. The Doctor can't be killed. There's no stakes, no consequences. Not only that, if the Doctor's infinite, right, and has lived a, a, a ridiculous infinite amount of time, uh, then everybody's a Doctor. Doctor is not special anymore. It's dumb. 
This is such a dumb idea. How do they do such a dumb idea? You know, I just listened to a clip by Terence Dix uh, saying that uh, um, if you uh, you know if you try and use Doctor Who as a platform for politics, it's really a storytelling is going to suffer. Yes, that's what happened. So um, even Andrew Car oh, was it, it was it, uh, a god who who can never do it. Ironically, even Andrew Carmel isn't a fan. No one is. Okay, no one is, right? I mean, I'm sure there's one or two, but yeah, not many, right? I mean, look, 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 listen. Do, do people, generally speaking, involve, uh, uh, enjoy slamming their balls into a drawer? Like, whoa, in you go. Thank you, Lord Percy. Like, do people normally enjoy that? No, no, normally not, very much not. There are some who do. Oh, yes. You can find somebody who will like anything nowadays. So, yeah, saying, you know, divided fans. It's like dividing the male population between people like their balls being slammed into a drawer and people who don't like their balls being slammed into a drawer. Is that a division? Is that a division? I don't think it's a division. I think, I think it basically pays out the same way. Uh, so even Andrew Cartmel isn't a fan because it's shit. Not hard to work out. His so more co cool part one master plan was about restoring a sense of mystery to the Doctor, whereas the time, uh, timeless uh, ch child is too concrete. Yes, absolutely. Both Chibnall and the 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker, are due to the pub. Please, can you, you know what? Uh, look, I just heard that they're dropping the um, the Flash movie on on uh, on the streaming. It's, it's not it's not getting a theatrical release. Because uh, uh, Ezra Miller is apparently a massive pervert, apparently. Have you ever seen him? He looks a bit perverty to me. Anyway, so, uh, uh, and he's on the run from the police in Hawaii. I don't know. It's just a weird story. So it's just being dropped onto HBO Max. I know, they spent 10 years on this movie. You put a gazillion dollars in it. They're just dropping on HBO Max. How about this? How about this? Why don't they just drop it onto uh, onto iPlayer and be done? Nobody wants this shit. And, I, and no matter how many other Russell Lee Davis goes, oh, 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 we're in for a treat. Oh, just imagine. No matter how many times he says that, right? It's not still not believable. Right? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like them telling you that uh, inflation was transitory. No, it wasn't. And we all knew it bloody wasn't, right? But it's amazing. After they lie, right, and after they're caught for lying, and this isn't this isn't a left or right thing. This is politicians who are scum. Uh, uh, after they lie, and after they be caught lying, they just pretend it was never there, and, they, and they're someone's like, "No, I, I have no memory of of, of you know, any of that." So <laughs> they really don't. It's the weirdest thing. Um, in truth, it feels as though they've already uh, uh, their time is already wrapping up. Doctor Who Magazine 577 uh, contains a final interview with Chibnall discussing his time on the show, the spin-offs, uh, and the spin-offs are now being announced. Uh, yeah, the media is featuring secondary characters from the era. Oh, forgive my yawn. <laughs> uh, that normally doesn't happen until after the final episode. Given that's the case, it now feels like it's the right time to uh, evaluate Chibnall's timeless child record. Well, okay. I... We all evaluated it as it happened. We went, that shit! That shit! Make it stop, right? That was our evaluation. Uh, Chibnall didn't achieve his goals with the Timeless Child. Speaking of Doctor Who magazine, Chibnall explained that the Timeless Child retcon was a very personal idea for him because someone who, uh, he was, as somebody who was adopted, he wanted to tell a story of adoption. And, and why, does, why does people, why does everybody need to see themselves? reflected in their heroes, right? I mean, like, very, very literally reflected in the heroes. Not, like, I always saw myself reflected in Doctor Who because he was a, uh, you know, iconoclastic, uh, uh, anti-authoritarian you know, anti uh, authority, right? All that stuff appealed to me. I, I, felt, I, I felt myself um, uh, uh, relating to that, resonating with that. You know, the idea that Doctor was an outsider, I, I, I related to that, right? I didn't need him to start dressing like a Jew and put on a bunch of weight, right? I didn't need the doctor to look at the camera and say, oh, can we get the Kefilta fish Romana? I mean, no, I didn't need that. So who needs that? Who does need that? I would say people with very, very small imaginations. They're people with very, very small imaginations, normally speaking, don't watch Doctor Who, right? Uh, uh, um, but okay, right? So uh, he had to see himself in it. Uh, listen, in all fairness, John Nathan Turner... 
uh, 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 did insert himself who were uh, quite a few places from what I understand but that's not where I was going John Nathan Turner uh, 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 did do a, a, a self insert I'm, I'm there again uh, did a self insert of, uh, of himself in the in top two with Colin Baker I mean especially in the two doctors where he's wearing the Hawaiian waistcoat it's like it's very much John Nathan Turner isn't it uh, where was it uh uh, looking beyond his personal experience, so Chibnall intended Tyler's Child Retcon to expand the franchise. Yes. And let's just say what exactly that means. He felt that franchise was too white and too male and needed to be expanded, right? If it's not expanded, then it's too white and too male, right? So uh, uh, he wanted to induce a gazillion other doctors, none of them white, none of them male, to dilute the doctor. That, that's that's the truth, right? And again, you know, I, uh, um, I was doing this review of Doctor Who magazine. I haven't seen it yet, but I saw Don Martin. Uh, um, he's got a fa like a fan film out. He's playing the purple doctor. Looks really cool. But I've seen his cosplay of like the sixth doctor and it. I mean, I, 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 I'm just imagining, like me, I don't need to see myself perfectly reflected to relate to the character. It didn't seem like he did either. I mean, his Sixth Doctor cos uh, cosplay really is great, right? Really is good. I, I, think, I think really understands the character. And I don't think that happened. Mean, like, so I just don't think this boundary of like, oh, no, it's white men. We can't see anything. No. Crazy. Yeah, people are crazy. Uh... The thing I wanted to dispel was the sense that it, uh, there was a locked-in fixed myth. Uh, um, yeah, but you did that by destroying any form of boundary whatsoever, right? Any form of uh, uh, structure, right? Yeah, it doesn't feel locked in, but it also feels detached from any form of compelling storytelling as well, because you literally destroyed the structure that it was based around. Uh, and uh, and that the only stuff that counts is what's been on the screen so far. Okay, nobody felt this way, right? Nobody was like, oh, I don't care about the Wraith Warriors. By the way, they're coming back yeah, and beat the meep, right? Like, I, that, nobody felt that way. I, I don't know why you felt Doctor Who was in any way restrictive for you, right? I wonder if it like the story could get much bigger than this. It got smaller, didn't it? It got really, really tiny. I mean, like, I, I, how much more do you have to fail before you go, oh, maybe I, maybe that wasn't the right way to go? Uh, uh, I think a lot more, right? Uh, uh, it's taken literally the four horsemen of the apocalypse to get Thomas Bacon to have this uh, uh, thought. Um, Jim not hope to expand the on-screen universe to stop the show uh, ever having to worry about the regeneration cap. Again, a dumb, stupid way around it. Uh, and allow writers to tell a story with as many doctors as they want. Again, diluting the character. Making the character pointless. Worthless. Um, to tell the stories. Uh, with as many doctors as they want. To be fair, Ch uh, fair to Chibnall, I think we all have been, but let's see what you're going to say. Some have been able to look beyond the story itself and understand his motives. Returning showrunner Rusty Davis supports the Timeless Child retcon. Well, he said that, didn't he? So it must be true. Didn't didn't they tell you inflation was tra transitory? So that must be true. The inflation we're seeing now is some kind of delusion, right? The gas prices are lower than we think because they told us it was transitory, right? So if they said it, it must be real, right? You twat. <laughs> it's called lying, idiot. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing how people like... I just so incredibly dumb. Like, no, that could be well, he said he liked it, so obviously it's good. No, he be polite. Um, uh, Jim will hope to expand the on-screen universe. Of oh, yeah, well, blah, blah, blah. Uh, believing the story was up, but now uh, the 13th Doctor has showed us Doctor's galore with infinite possibilities. Yeah, is he saying it in a good way? Uh, he wrote in an online introduction to a prequel for one of his first ever first Doctor Who stories. All Doctors exist. All stories are true. Okay, <laughs> but it 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 broke apart the structure of the show, right? I tell you, you want to do that in a uh, 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 an audio, a comic book, or whatever. But when you when you take away any form of structure that the show has, it, 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 it at that point it just makes it unrelatable. And boring, right? Boring is the thing it makes it. And boy, is the Chibnall era been boring. I mean, really, for all the hullabaloo, 
it's just been boring. Uh, unfortunately, the, the uh, Chimnall's Timeless Child retcon was executed in a rather clumsy fashion. Well, it was executed in a rather clumsy fashion because it was executed by Chibnall, who's rather clumsy, right? It's, it's, again, again, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to work out, right? A rocket scientist. I think most people go, it's a huge change to Doctor Who lore, and it certainly means the show uh, never need to deal with the problem of the Doctor running out of regenerations again. It wasn't a problem. Uh, it was like, oh, okay, it wasn't a problem. <coughs> I mean, all you got to do is think. When you get to the point, think. And we were good for another 13 regenerations minimally after uh, uh, from Capaldi onwards. Uh, wait, wait. Fundamentally, though, it doesn't, cha it doesn't change the character. So what's the point? Uh, the actual, char the actual uh, character of the Doctor at all, doesn't you? The character of the Doctor uh, Chibnall even signposts this in the episode explaining the retcon. Uh, the Timeless Children with Joe Martin's Doctor appearing in the Matrix uh, in a Matrix version to reassure the Doctor this is uh, this doesn't really matter uh, have you ever been limited by who you were before well kind of yeah actually not limited but defined by um, yeah it just that seems like a idiot uh, uh, a soundbite that, that idiots can roll out do not feel like they're idiots. <laughs> okay. uh, she asked, reminding the Doctor of a truth that allowed her to break out the Matrix. And that was so dumb, right? The Doctor, like, oh, I give up. Well, at first, she did a bit of it, like, oh, oh, face for a bit. Oh, help me. Oh. Then she said, oh, scrunch face. Oh, I'll put my scrunch face on. And that'll get me out the Matrix. I'll, I'll overload the Matrix. Oh, I'm so clever, me. Yeah. Oh, I wonder why it didn't go down well. Really? I don't know. I don't know. Weird. It's weird, isn't it? Weird. Just reminding her the Doctor uh, of a truth that allowed her to break out the Matrix. The timeless child changes everything and nothing. So it just cha it just stops it being good. Right? Uh, 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 it changes everything. <laughs> it does. It's just not very good. The, uh, the timeless child focuses on the wrong questions. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what questions that nobody cared about? The Tardis Style Retcon has allowed Chibnall to introduce past uh, uh, a past incarnation of the Doctor, played by Joe Martin. We don't know she's the past, we don't know she's the future. They never stopped to work it out. Because Chibnall wrote it and he can't write. <laughs> you can't like this. Yeah, Chibnall's like, I better put, put a plot hole in there, otherwise nobody will notice me. Uh, she's been a highlight of the series, uh, debut, uh, uh, debuting in. Fusion of the, of the Jadoon. No, she hasn't been a highlight. Bradley Walsh was a highlight of the series, and, and, and he was shit in this as well, right? Because it's, you know, no matter how good you are, if you get in a bucket of shit, you're going to smell a shit, right? Uh, after leaving the was fascinated to learn more. Surprisingly, though, in his interview with Doctor Who magazine, Jim reveals the future of Doctor was a spontaneous addition. Well, that wasn't the first time that's been real. That's about a year ago they told us about that. Right, it was uh, Vinnie Patel that like came up with it on the fly or something stupid. God, just this incredible lack of talent, shuddering behind uh, uh, whatever skin color or sexual preference you are to avoid it, any criticism. View um, that was a spontaneous edition. The mystery character was originally supposed to be some sort of alien princess. Uh, that perhaps explains why. When Chibnall did reveal the future of Doctor's past, he restored a classic trope that ha uh, that have been used many times before, and hence uh, lack uh, used many times before, and hence lack dr dramatic impact. Well, I remember me reading again. That's about the fact that perhaps explains why Chibnall did reveal the future of Doctor's past. He res uh, resort uh, when he re he resorted to a classic tropes that have been used many times before. And hence lacked the dramatic input. What dramatic, what classic tropes? The doctor walking around, being a big, big black woman holding a big black, big gun, a big, big black gun as well, I guess. Uh, 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 yeah, that's not a trope. Uh, I mean, it is a trope in 2022, but other than that, uh, she used to tie the doctor uh, to a secret Gallifreyan or a black ops group called the Division. <laughs> I fell asleep. I really, I fall asleep every time I hear that stupid name. The Division. It's so lazy. Right? It's so lazy. But went rogue because uh, she became to disagree with their methods. In what way did you disagree? 
No, no, we never cover that. Never cover that. And, and I'm reading the turgid comic book, prequel comic book, uh, uh, and it's garbage, right? It's absolute garbage. Uh, Doctor Who Flux or the 13th Doctor finally discover her adopted mother, Tech Tuan, at the, it was, uh, what's her name? Uh, the, the good actress uh, of the week. I got her every day. Don't care. Don't care. She was, she was reasonably hot in, in a very peculiar practice, but that was a good 40 years ago. Uh, Doctor, <laughs> she's, a, she's a great actor as well. <laughs> but, you know, I, I like to put my priorities in order. Uh, Doctor Who Flux, blah, 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 blah. Uh, meet Tech Toon in the Division's headquarters where she delivered a basic info dump. Yeah, I know, it's the way Chibnall does it, baby. It's the way I tell him. Uh, badly, all right? Uh, contain the seed of an interesting and frankly profoundly disturbing idea. Uh, uh, that Tech Toon compared her relationship to Doctor to the Doctor's relationship with her companions, suggesting the Doctor's ab inability to commit to... Uh, commit was unwittingly perpetrated uh, uh, per, per, uh, perpetuation of a cycle of abuse. Blimey, deeply ingrained within her psyche. Well, that's cheery, isn't it? Uh, 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 no, uh, again, I, 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 I... This is just dumb, right? I, I, I don't even know where to go. Oh, I can't commit. Oh, I mean, no, this was uh, uh, Jodie Whittaker's doctor saying why, why she wasn't going to... Uh, 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 you know, start uh, uh, tongue kissing Yaz, right? Wasn't going to start scissoring and TARDIS. Oh, oh, you'll be, I'll be, you'll be so much me, Yaz. Oh, I keep up. Oh, but I don't, I don't do. I, there's no hanky panky in the TARDIS. Oh no, cause, cause I'll just get hurt and I'm a big coward. That's the way they write me. It's a bit funny that, but they do. First female uh, to play the Doctor, also first coward <laughs> to be the Doctor. Oh, so we're not going to start talking to each other or scissoring in the TARDIS. Oh, I always wonder what it felt like. What? Scissoring in the TARDIS. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, suggesting that her... Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing especially... You blimey, you read a lot into that, mate. There's nothing especially new about questioning the dynamic between the Doctor and their companions. This dates back to Sylvester McCoy's time uh, as a doctor, where he, he uh, his seven doctor treated his companion Ace as a pawn, uh, like awfully mistreated Ace a lot of the time. Watch Dragon, not Dragonfire, uh, um, Ghostlight uh, a couple of weeks ago. The doctor's just being a dick through that. I mean, really, I when you really cut through it, he's not like helping her evolve. He's just being this massive dick. Uh, um, oh, are we. Uh, it didn't seem the best, but I still... Uh, at least I like Sylvester McCoy and uh, Sophie Aldridge's performance. Um, okay. Actually, it dates back to um, uh, uh, Patrick Troughton, right? Patrick Troughton and Jamie. Uh, Second Doctor and Jamie fell out in Evil of the Daleks because uh, uh, he was using people, right? Uh, uh, I, 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 there's been a lot of, like, Machiavellianess in, in the Troughton Doctor. Uh, duh, duh, duh. there's uh, nothing okay, Sir McCoy. Um, and Peter Cavaldi era interrog uh, interrogated the idea as well. Interrogated the idea, maybe investigated the idea. Uh, but uh, but the cycle of abuse was new, suggesting that Tech Tune and the division had shaped the doctor more profoundly than she ever realized. Well, that's not hard because this doctor doesn't really realize much, she's not the brightest spark now, is she? Uh, this has the potential to serve as a launch pad, forcing the Doctor to confront her own flaws, but instead the show uh, uh, pivoted to the Doctor Companion Romance, because they saw on Twitter, people were like, oh, Phasmid, oh, oh, Phasmid, oh, God, it's the best as ever. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Suggesting the tech uh, more humorous. This had the potential to serve as a launch pad, forcing the Doctor, okay, we read that already. Right. Uh, rather than uh, resolve to uh, resolve to heal, and uh, rather than step forward in the hope that she could change in Legend of the Sea Devils, the Doctor rejected Laz be uh, uh, Yaz uh, because she lacked hope. Oh, I'm the most hopeful Doctor, but I don't have any hope. Oh, it's so sad. E, I can't fix myself, darling. No one can fix your do your Doctor. Okay, you could have fixed yourself, but you're, uh, I get the feeling, lazy and unintelligent, which are, I think, the two things you need uh, not to be to play the Doctor. 
to anything, uh, she replied, to any, uh, anything, anywhere, or anyone. I've never been able to. That's what my life is. That makes, that is meaningless babble. God, Whitaker's delivery added powerful pulls for the first four words, uh, imbuing them with tragic depth of meaning. No, she didn't. I mean, she, she stopped, but I think she was just getting a breath. Tragic depth of meaning. She couldn't bloody spell it, let alone uh, uh, add it. It's sad to see a doctor's era come to an end in, uh, in such brokenness and defeat. It was pretty sad to live through it, mate, right? right? I mean, it was pretty sad when Chibnall, uh, 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 um, like, the only fans he cared about were the ones that called any, everybody else bigots, right? Um, they, they were the fans he liked. Frustratingly, Chibnall seems to have no interest exploring the, the idea, uh, the more interesting questions that stem from the timeless child retcon. Yeah, because he's a moron. He can't think things through. Doctor Who Flux established that the timeless Charles uh, metaversal or uh, meta universal the metaversal origin I think it should be meta universal origin uh, revealing the Doctor originated from somewhere beyond that, this dimension oh so mysterious the multiverse is all the rage uh, in popular culture now listen mate I wa I tried to watch Doctor Strange a uh, multiverse of madness and it was garbage I, I, if it was hot during Spider Man No Way Home it's not going to be hot by the time the Flash comes out it's it's over it was hot because it was the first good movie anybody had seen in years that wasn't wagging its finger at you and telling you you're you're uh, deplorable right um we found like mcu and even buffy the vampire slayer using it uh remarkably creatively buffy the vampire slayer that finished in the 90s how are they using it now i, I don't know maybe it's a comic book uh, a multiverse opens up a fresh opportunity for exploration. There can be dimensions similar to our own. Yet we know that. Again, I saw the only interesting bit in uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, was uh, uh, the bloke from The Office being Reed Richards for, like, a scene, right? I don't even think you saw any... Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Fantastic. I love that name. Hi! I can stretch myself like a rubber band, so I'm going to be Mr. Fantastic. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, Jim was that decision to incorporate multiverse into the story of the uh, the ta uh, timeless child is inspired. No, it's not. But sl sadly flawed. Yes, it is. Uh, because having tossed the idea in there, he hasn't been bothered to explore it. Well, he, he, again, he's not a writer. He write. He but he makes widgets. Uh, 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 yeah, no, he's not going to have a, have the ability to explore it. Indeed, it seems he had no intention to. When Doctor Who magazine asked him about the Doctor's true origin, he gave a simple answer. He said, I don't know. Oh, I don't like, know. Nobody knows. That's the whole point. I'm just going to say it's this because uh, 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 let's just dick with people. Um, everything we've done goes back to that central idea that uh, we don't know who the Doctor is. Well, they certainly don't know who the Doctor is. Uh, Chimney wanted to get back to asking the questions about them. Anyway, if he just wanted to get back to asking questions, why did he state everything so insanely definitively? Oh, yeah. He's a useless hack who doesn't know what he's doing. That's why. Okay, fine. Wait, I just had to say this stuff out so I understand it. Uh, Chimney wanted to get back to asking questions about the Doctor's identity again without making uh, any attempt to uh, to ask them. Yeah, I mean, it was done much better by Cartmel, right? My God, how much? Oh, God, this is nearly over. Thank God, I'm losing my will to live. The timeless child will be ignored, which is why this article's being written, right? Uh, the the rumor right now is uh, uh, David Tennant's Doctor is not the Doctor at all, but a construct of the uh, Celestial Toy Maker. Maybe it started with Jodie. Maybe she's not the Doctor either. Uh, and I can see him putting a lining to give people wiggle room to believe that. Although he seems also very scared of, of upsetting that insane demographic that are uh, uh, intrinsically evil, right? Uh, Jim expects the Dino Charles to be ignored by successor returning the show, uh, returning showrunner Rusty Davis in part, uh, uh, Rusty Davis, uh, ignored by Rusty Davis. In part, this uh, is presumably because he thinks uh, he said what he needs to say about the timeless child. Nothing. Right? Absolutely nothing. <coughs> I've said, oh, my work here is done. What? You haven't said anything. That's the point. That. 
And he doesn't believe any other showrunner will be interested in exploring those unanswered questions either. You know why he doesn't believe that, right? Because he spent a year trying to get other people to take over Doctor Who, and they're like, yeah, no, no, thank you, mate. No, no. Uh, I mean, I mean, amazing if Vinnie Patel turned it down, right? Or it's, I don't know who turned it down, but uh, uh, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. Um, bye. Uh, well, we're up to. Uh, doesn't believe any show will be interesting in exploring YouTube, but it's also like uh, likely because he is aware that Tyler Shell Retcon has not been well received. Oh, what? You noticed that, did you? Well, look at you. The history of Doctor Who is one of the countless pivots, retcon one of countless pivots, retcons, and changes in direction. No, it's not. No, it countless retcons, pivots. No. I mean, you had uh, uh, you know Gallifrey being revealed, and the, then you had. You know, them kind of set up in the three doctors, and, and they, then they did a piv pivot, a reveal for Deadly Assassin. But, like, kind of, I mean, I had about it, really, isn't it? I mean, there's, I'm sure there's more plot holes that they, people cover over. But again, people are dumb. Dumb people can't work out how to cover over plot holes because they're dumb, right? You can tell because they can't work out how to cover over plot holes. Um, where are I? But it's also like he's aware how bad the time uh, time show has gone down. Uh, Chibnall was also aware that Doctor Who TV movie established that Doctor was half human back in '96, for example, an idea that was then ignored until a, uh, until the controversy had been forgotten. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, ignore ignore Jodie until the controversy is forgotten. Ever ignore her forever. That being the case. Uh, and then dismissed a throwaway line uh, in a throwaway line, uh, line of dialogue. It wouldn't be a surprise if something si uh, similar happens to the timeless child. It would not be a surprise, would it? No, it wouldn't be a surprise. Uh, in uh, in the meantime, Chibnall has attempted to pivot with the last few episodes aren't about the timeless child. Well, this one is totally is, and the one before it was, uh, uh, yeah, the whole when, he, when she got the fob watch. Uh, where are we? Rather, they've committed to a flawed doctor companion relationship. Yes, because it's commit because they are. This is a very flawed doctor. Uh, uh, how flawed it doesn't have any good points. The arc is notable because it's the first time the doctor has been part of an LGBTQ plus romance. Really, you don't say. You don't think that had any bearing on on them on them doing that, do you? Do you? Do you it could be. I don't know. You decide. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, it feels forced. It is forced. It is for every. It feels false because it is false, right? <coughs> um, yeah, right. Uh, this is partly because it was poorly signposted, but it's also because it was clearly set at the uh, set to end in tragedy. Given both the actors are leaving Doctor Who, the centenary special. Well, it could be like Bill Potts and the Water Girl. <laughs> I was going to say the Wet Girl, but no, no, I'm going to be a good rabbi. Uh, um, Highlight the problem, uh, problematic trope that befalls queer relationships. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, this unfortunately means Chibnall is unlikely to have much of a legacy on the small screen. It's disappointing to see uh, it end like this. Disappointing, but absolutely inevitable. Now, now, how did he get so far with this? Right? Like, how did it? Like, how did he? How was he allowed to fail so completely? Because people like you and this outlet. Uh, uh, supported him relentlessly, no matter how poor the work was done. So let's have a quick look at this over here. This is, uh, 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 we're not looking for article. Ten franchises that have introduced a female protagonist that could lead the next era. Um, okay. But why not just make your own thing? So, so Doctor only gets an honorable mention. They're not even going to lead the next era. They can't, like, they, they, it's over. Doctor Who shifted when it was introduced the uh, the when it introduced the first ever female uh, Doctor. Yeah, and they shifted from being popular to unpopular, from being good to bad. Yes, that was a shift uh, uh, in the form of Jodie Whittaker. She's been fantastic addition to the cast. No, she hasn't. She's been useless. Uh, although, again, just why do you think saying these things makes it real? Right? I, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, although it seems the show is moving forward with a more male-led route once uh, once more, the casting of the brilliant Stuti Katwa. Okay, who is? I, I made a mistake in another video. I said, uh, I kept calling him English. I meant British. Uh, uh, how British is that? I guess in English, because uh, he's from Scotland, right? And I do not want to uh, 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 upset the Scots. Always good, guy. Always good, you know, uh, 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 to keep, keep the, 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 Scottish, uh, the Scottish viewers happy. 
Uh, the prospect of a wider interconnection with the universe uh, of spin-offs <coughs> characters like the future Doctor and perhaps the, like Bill and Martha. Who was Bill? Is that Bill Potts? Uh, oh, like Bill or Martha could return to lead their own adventures. Well, listen, they're booked in for two book sets each. Do you reckon they're going to make a, enough business to do a third? I don't know. I, I doubt it, really, quite frankly. Uh, this is an exciting time to be a fan of Doctor Who. Well, yes, because they're going. Yes, it, it is an exciting time, fan of, uh, time to be a fan of Doctor Who. Uh, and there looks to be far more opportunities for women to lead the charge in the near future. Well, given it led it off a cliff, maybe you shouldn't rush to that. So let's have a quick look what they're going to say. Jurassic Park, don't care. Game of Thrones, leave me alone. Uh, John Wick, no. Uh, MCU, God, yeah. MCU's doing so well, right? It's doing so well. It, nobody wants to watch this shit. Are you out of your mind? Like, nobody wants to. Better Call Saul, uh, uh, she's going to be... Dying or going to prison in a, in a, in, a, in a few episodes, and, but she's very good. Uh, what was it Rhea she Shehorn? She's very she's very good. Oh God, Loretta Lynch in James Bond? No, no. Uh, 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 I mean, if you want to like a um, a completely bland, passionless, boring James Bond, sure, that will be the trick. Avatar, the, it always was led by a woman. Uh, uh, okay, Transformers. Uh, who's who, who's that? Is that Millie Bobby Brown? Uh, who they want to put in everything now? Uh, Haley Statfield's Charlie. Okay, don't know who she is. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, well, I thought I think this is it's slated to be um, Margot Robbie, but I I think um, Karen Jenner was in the running, and they really really yeah Doctor Who didn't even get mentioned. Look at that. They, uh, 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 Karen Jenner was in uh, in the running. She did, and she didn't get looking for what I understand, but. Uh, um, I mean, look, this list is a list of failure, right? Total failure. I don't know about John Wick. MCU, failure. Better Call Saul, James Bond, she was a failure in that. Uh, uh, this is just a list of failure for ins uh, inserting female leads into it, uh, which don't work, right? It, don't, it doesn't work and it feels false. Yes, we know it doesn't work. And yes, we know it feels false. Why? Because we watched it. We watched it. So, uh, uh, incredible times. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse riding abroad. They're going across the land. So terrifying, are they? Thomas Bacon has gone, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Doctor Who with Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chimnall is awful. Reality has dawned. So, you know, be thankful for some more mercies. <laughs> As I said, my name's Fila Bacon, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>